Thanks to everyone who has subscribed. If you have not, please do. And thanks for coming out here. I really appreciate you. Just in, what will happen if I lose a dual election? Obaseki makes shocking revolution. Good morning, good afternoon, good evening. Whatever time we're reaching you today, thank you so much for joining us. We really, truly appreciate you. Uh, please don't forget to give us a thumbs up and to subscribe if this is your first time. Yes, so the elections are just around the corner and very soon, I mean, in a matter of days, we'll be getting to know who the Edo State Governor, who will be leading Edo State in the next four years. Yes, in the next four years. The contestants uh, have done very well going around campaigning and going from word to word. Governor Gordon Obaseki ended, you know, his campaign yesterday uh, in a church, uh, precisely Apostle Suleiman's church where he went for Thanksgiving. And Apostle Suleiman said, Governor Gordon Obaseki, God used him to save his life. He said, if not for Obaseki, he does not know if he will be alive today. Apparently, the governor, you know, uh, Save you know, sent uh, security personnel when there was an attempt, you know, in his life. And um, the governor, the, 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 the clergy's father promised to mobilize votes for Governor Godwin Obaseki. Obaseki is being asked, what will happen? Paradventure, you, you, paradventure, something happened. Because we know that the opposition, the forces are really strong, you know, very strong. To, not to mention, to mention, but a few. We heard um, uh, uh, Captain Okumbo saying today that he will spend his very last cobble to make sure he's a, he's a, he's a Yamu one, wins. What about Oshomole? He's been going from place to place with, you know, with Ize Yamu. All the court cases postponed till, well till after the whole election process. Well, this is what is happening. Governor Gordon Obaseki made a, you know, a shocking revelation that is getting people to say, wow. Let's get on straight into the news and get all the details. Just in, what will happen if I lose a dual election? Governor Gordon Obaseki reveals shocking revelation. Governor of Edo State, Gordon Obaseki, has revealed what he intends to do should he lose the kind contest Edo State gubernatorial election. Obaseki, after a meeting with the Inspector General of Police, Mohamed Adamu, on Monday, said that he will accept defeat should he lose the election. He told journalists in Abuja, first, if you have been watching, you will see that the election is almost in a contest between, between us we cannot even find the opposition party in the field. The contest is so far away. The other contender is nowhere close to us. So the issue of me losing is very, very remote, except something miraculous happened. If I lose in a fair contest, all things being equal, that the people of Edo State will prefer another candidate as a democratic governor, I will accept it. But if what we know today and from evidence of what is available, Edo people have spoken, and we just want to, and we just want an opportunity for us to express their views on the said day. So our concern is that the people will be allowed to vote peacefully, and their vote will count. We don't want an imposition on the people's vote. We want what the people want to stand. If they have voted for me let it come to pass. If they have voted for somebody else, so be it. There is no do or die, but we want the voice of the people to be heard and no hard feelings. If the people have preferred another candidate, why should I impose myself on them? But we hear the people constantly shouting and screaming, we want you back. From all quarters, we went around the 192 wards all around Edo State, and it's the same song everywhere. We wait for September the 19th to get the revelation of what will happen. Well, my people, that is Governor Gordon Obaseki, who went to see the IG of police today in Abuja, all in preparedness and in preparation for the all-awaited September the 19th Edo election. You know, uh, you know, a strong word came for Governor Gordon Obaseki today saying, you have done all humanly possible you need to do. You know, I mean, asking and speaking, you have done what any man should do. The, the next, what is left for you now to do is for you to seek God's help. 
you know, trying to do it on your own, on your own terms, trying to, by your own strength, it cannot be possible. But if you ask God for help, then you can get help, you know, and you'll be surprised. Everyone that is trying to, you know, maneuver things and just to, you'll be surprised that God will just, you know, will just save you and just help you. So these are the these are the issues that are coming up. And Governor Governor Baseki spoke very, you know, said, you know what? If if the if the people of Edo State genuinely said they prefer somebody else, then so be it. The, the people have spoken. We have to respect their decision. But if it is, you know, uh, it's, you know, things being done uh, you, without truth, things being done shadily, then we will have to look into it. But all things being equal. All things being equal, you know, uh, every T crossed, every I dotted, and the people vote for me and somebody else is trying to change the result, then we will get to the bottom of it. Well, I think in my opinion, that is, an, uh, that is, a, that is a word of a, a hero. That is a word of, you know, of a champion. You know, when, when you look at the status quo and you see what has happened, when you see that truly the people want you and somebody else is trying to maneuver and to impose on the people's decision, then something has to be done. Other than that, if the people have said this is who we want, then it has to stand because the will of the people has to stand. Come rain, come shine. It's only, Niger it's mostly, you know, I mean, it's only Niger mostly Nigerian politics that you see that people are trying to, you know, get in there at all costs, at all costs, because power, you see, you know, some people want power and do not want to, you know, let it go. But if the people are saying, it's Governor Gordon Obaseki we want, why impose somebody else on them? Why do that? But if they say it is somebody else they want, oh yeah, then that person must be given to the people. It, the, the thing is, in democracy, in democracy, the vote of the people, the will of the people must stand, you know, and of everything being done decently and in order, not somebody trying to impose, not somebody forcing the will or, you know, their will on somebody. Because you know what, in this very election, uh, we, please refer to our former news, the news of today. Some of the fresh news we posted today, your Kumbo said he will make sure he spends his last Kobo and we get and we'll seat Governor Gordon Obaseki. That was the statement, you know, uh, uh, Shomole, everybody knows already. He said, no matter come rain, come shine, he must get Obaseki out of the place. So we see if this is just man's desire, not the people's desire, then it must be questioned because the will of the people must stand. At the end of the day, it's an election and the people's voice must be heard. Whatever the decision is, the people of Edo State have a right to choose who their next governor will be. Nobody should impose that on them. It is wrong. You know, all those things, all those uh, imposition of, you know, uh, people on people is wrong. Let's call what is wrong, wrong. And let us give opportunity for the voice of Nigerians to be heard for the first time in a long time. Because Edo State election is being watched all over the world. Bye for now.